Hi, and welcome to Frosher Talks. My name is Stefan, and in this episode, we are going to have a look at the life cycle of a railway system. As we have heard in the previous video, safety and security are focusing on the same goal, which is to keep the railway system in a consistent, functional state. However, they differ in many aspects. One of these differences is the railway system life cycle. The safety life cycle is defined within the Senelec standards and is well established over decades. The IEC 62443 standard is a common framework for industrial automation and control systems, but does not address the needs of a railway system in detail. Here, the TS 54701 for railway applications for cybersecurity comes into play. It links the worlds of safety and security together by creating synchronization points between both life cycles. Let's take a closer look. For the design, realization and operation phase within the V model, security activities are defined in parallel to the safety items. Although it is important to have these interfaces and interactions between the teams. It is crucial to decouple the life cycles in regards to the approval processes. This means that a change in the security system should not involve a new safety approval. One important part of the activities is the threat risk assessment. Within this process, potential security risks to the system are analyzed and the target security level for the different zones are defined. The higher the security level, the greater the strength of the applied protection. As an example, multi-factor authentication can be used to increase the protection level of user logins. To reach these targets, the security capabilities of the used components are determined. If the level of protection is not sufficient, additional countermeasures must be taken until the achieved level is equal to the target level. This can be technical as well as organizational measures. The so-called security-related application conditions can help the assets owner to understand the risks and to define rules to operate the system in a secure way. To emphasize, Safety and security should consider the risks of each other to avoid side effects. Similar to safety, cybersecurity verification and validation is necessary to achieve a system acceptance which can be handed over to the operator. During the operation of the system, the maintenance procedure especially the patching of security components, has a high value. In summary, cybersecurity in railways is essential to ensure operational safety while protecting railway systems from external threats. To achieve this, the security and the safety lifecycle of railway systems need to be synchronized. So, thank you for joining us and see you in the next episode of Russia Talks.